So Fortnite is a game that is dominated by competitive play. Oftentimes, you know, we find that controller players can be overshadowed by keyboard and mouse players, making it harder for us to just honestly know who the best controller players are in the world. Players like Faye Sway, you guys know him, and Ghost Aiden, you know, they're well known, but are they the best? And if they are, well, who is ultimately better than them? What's up, everybody? This is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. And if you haven't had the opportunity to connect with me on my Instagram, hey, do so as soon as possible, man. You're missing out. We got a lot going on. So in this video today, we're going to be looking at some of the world's best controller players, and we're going to break down why they just are so good. Besides just the analysis, we're also going to be ranking them from number five to number one. So you need to stay tuned, sit back, relax. Hey, get my favorite candy, which is that bunch of crunch you see at every movie theater across the country. Okay, go to go to get it right now. It's really good. And enjoy this video because you're about to see some of the world's best doing what they do best. All right. I've already said the word best like 10 times and we haven't even gotten started yet. Okay. Anyways. So before we get started, I'd like to make a small announcement. We are adding a ton of new features to Pro Guides, which include one, exclusive guide videos for our Pro members every single day, and two, Pro Pass Now grants access to all games such as League of Legends, Smash Brothers, CSGO, and Overwatch. More free coaching passes and points for InstaPro if you are a Pro member. So head on over to Pro Guides by clicking the link in the description below. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, starting off at number five, we got my boy Faye Sway. You know, Sway was able to earn a spot on this list due to his ability to just slay out in matches and do so using some of the most complex building strategies out there. So most creative warriors in the Fortnite pro scene, they don't really necessarily outperform other players during competitive play, right? But Sway does this fiercely. Dude's an animal, like a wild animal in the jungle looking for prey. Okay, this is turning to National Geographic, but you understand what I'm saying. He's a beast. There are many times where we've seen this guy drop massive 20 plus kill games in arena while also having a surplus of points. This means he was playing against other very skilled players that he was able to just dominate like nothing throughout the entire game. For example, okay, so here we see Sway and Tifu playing duos together while playing very aggressive and seeking kills. This gameplay is the kill record for most eliminations in an arena game, which is crazy, and it is held by, yes, yours truly, Sway and Tifu. So at the bottom, we can see that Sway and Tifu are playing at over 1,200 points, meaning, you know, they're not only just playing champion league players, but also the top players in that league. At this point in the gameplay, we can see that Sway is pushing up to an opponent using some of his creative build and fighting tactics. Notice how he just guessed where the opponent will be and then places a floor and a pyramid on that side. What that does is stop the opponent from building ramps there and therefore gives Sway an easy shot. This, my friends, is a prevailing tactic amongst creative warriors and, you know, it's a move that they're known for using. Next, we're going to see Sway getting angles and moving towards height while doing so, just like he usually would in creative. For his finishing shot, he goes for a side jump angle which works perfectly and secures him the kill. Bravo, bravo. In summary, Sway's ability to incorporate creative tricks into his gameplay is what makes him such a great controller player. So not many people have talent like this and we're itching to see how this guy performs in the future. Okay, so at number four, we have Ghost Innocence. Innocence is, <laughs> okay, without a doubt, one of the deadliest controller players when it comes to dominating multiple people at once. He makes solo squads and 2v1 scenarios look like 1v1s. Besides being able to dominate pubs, what about this is exceptional and competitive? Being ready to fight off multiple opponents when being third-partied or while playing some game modes like duels and trios, it's a must for competitive players. And no one does this better, my friends, than Innocence. Innocence is also an insanely good all-around player. We've seen him dominate creative warriors in creative while also being able to play competitive and pubs all at a high level. He's also faced off against prominent playground warriors like Clicks and has won multiple times. So don't mess with Innocence. We can see in this clip that Innocence is nearing 14,000 points and is about to get that victory royale. Believe it or not, Innocence was actually the first player in the world to hit Champion Division after the Fortnite Season X update. He was able to get this under 17 hours. Playing an array of skills and doing so without a break is a very, very hard task, okay? And it shows that his talent is crazy when it comes to performing well in competitive game modes. Not to mention his winnings and overall placements in many Fortnite in-game events. Once again, bravo, bravo. 
Okay, so moving on to number three, we have Ghost Aiden. Aiden is definitely given credit for his insane talent, but we do think here at Pro Guys that there's a lot more in him that most people cannot see. Besides being able to consistently place very well in the World Cup and qualify for the finals New York. So what's really interesting about Ghost Aiden that really makes him stand out is the fact that he's not as mechanical as the other top rated controller players. All right, so don't get me wrong, Ghost Aiden fans, all right? Don't get mad and start typing some negative in the comments below. I already hear you. Hey, just stop it. Stop typing. Stop. Listen. It's me. Remember, your guy, your friend, Keith Allen, okay? He's an insanely good player when it comes to building, guys. But his most substantial gameplay aspect is definitely his genius level thinking. Aiden always knows where to put himself, right? And he's rarely missing shots. His positioning is flawless, as well as his decision making, making him a deadly opponent in competitive games. Okay, so in this clip, we can see Aiden at height with his teammate, and he looks down and looks for opponents to eliminate while also keeping his high ground. We see him take out an opponent in seconds with a swift heavy sniper shot. Look at this. This is a perfect example of what we just said. Not only was his positioning perfect, but his ability not to miss sealed the deal and earned him the easy elimination point. A little bit more into the gameplay, we can see Aiden wrap it up with the victory royale, which is not a surprise. Aiden having good weapons and items in the end game can almost guarantee that he's going to pull off the win thanks to his very high IQ plays and way above average aim, I may say. Ghost Aiden is a true wonder and one of the deadliest when it comes to controller players. And now for our runner up, we have Ghost Issa or Ghost Issa, however you want to say it. I believe his mom calls him Issa, so I'm going to stick with that. All right, this guy, without a doubt, is one of the most underrated controller players in the competitive community. And uh, he doesn't have a small following either, so that should give you an idea of how good he must be to be considered underrated. Okay, so not only is Ghost Issa insanely talented mechanically, but he's also an absolute monster when it comes to eliminations. You know, it's very, very rare to find players that can fight their way out of any situation. But Issa is definitely one of those players. We see this guy time and time again fly around the map during the end game while slaying and dominating the entire lobby regardless of the skill level of his opponents. This is what truly sets Issa apart from the other players. Now, what makes this guy such an effective eliminator? Well, let's take a closer look at some of his gameplay to find out. So to start it off, Issa's aim is impeccable. Issa is one of the first well-known pro Fortnite players to play with controller aim assist off. You know, it takes a lot of skill to be able to hit your shots on controller while also playing with high sensitivity, let alone no aim assist, my goodness. But it's to prove the world wrong and show them that it's possible. Being a controller player that was so dominant with aim assist off actually helped his skill. Playing without aim assist, guys, actually improves your aim because you're getting used to just aiming without any help. And then switching back to aim assist just makes you a monster. That's precisely what Issa did. As you can see in the majority of his gameplay and clips, it's almost like he's an aimbot. So watch here as he pushes one opponent and instantly had to deal with another. If Issa weren't able to consistently hit his shots and do the massive damage that he does, he definitely would not have survived this situation. Being able to turn around and hit his opponents for maximum headshot damage after being shot down while fighting someone else, this is an incredible thing that he was able to do. This makes opponents have to back up and play defensively instead of aggressively, which causes most of them to mess up, especially after being hit for critical damage after initiating a fight. Think about it. Have you ever been shot for loads of damage after expecting to beat someone? That's exactly what it's like to fight Issa. It's almost like he has eyes in the back of his head, and Aimbot is the software of his PC. God, I would love that software. Besides having great aim, Issa also uses his builds very efficiently and intelligently. Watch as he predicts his opponent opening up and places a ramp in between them, taking complete control over the fight, then quickly editing a ramp and then hitting both of his shots to end the fight. Yes, you get a bravo too. Bravo, bravo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Number one on our list of the world's best controller players goes to Woofies. Woofies is by far the number one competitive controller player on this list. He plays the best out of all the controller players in the world in the World Cup, taking number two in the World Cup dual finals. You know, it takes a lot of skill to be competing against the best keyboard and mouse players and still being able to dominate lobbies and take second overall. Crazy. Okay, so let's just dive into his gameplay, guys, and let's find out what makes this guy so talented when it comes to Fortnite. 
So similar to the other players on this list, Woofies is just a very good mechanical player. We can see how he edits and builds in some of his normal gameplays, and it's definitely not average. He pulls off fast exits, builds, and accurate shots to just finish off the opponents. But this isn't necessarily something that will earn you a placement like Woofy. So what makes him so much better than all the other controller players? Good question. The answer is, drum roll please, his superior game IQ. The dude is just smart. Wolfies knows precisely where to drop, exactly where to rotate, and exactly how to operate under different circumstances. Okay, so looking at his World Cup games during the finals in New York, we can pretty much see that he's very consistent at placing high in the majority of the games. This comes from superior game intellect, my friends, which is a very scarce skill. This is because this skill doesn't just come from grinding the game. It's a talent that Wolfies just has. Being able to be smart and being able to calculate every move he makes. And what gets him to those end games and also what earns him those juicy placement points. Now, we did say that he has proper mechanics before, but there's actually a secret aspect to his gameplay that makes him one of the best overall controller players out there. Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> wow, you guessed right. Yeah, it's his reaction time. How did you do that? That's crazy. Which enables him to have a swift pullout time on weapons. This is such a very rare talent, guys, and he can make a world of difference in a game like Fortnite. Woofies can quickly take high ground and power positions like owning people's boxes without risking a single second of not having his gun out. This guy's always ready to shoot when he fights. Most players tend to just make the mistake of having their builds out or transitioning into shooting, while Woof is virtually always prepared to fire. Reaction time is something we talked about in one of our previous videos, so you guys should definitely check that out if you're interested. As always, ladies and gentlemen, this is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, hit that like button if you enjoyed it and throw all your thoughts and comments down below. We really appreciate all your support and we're going to see you guys next time.